My name is Virginia Kaufman and I'm a physician assistant student at Damon College. I am currently rotating with Dr. Karen Manukian at the Bain Treatment Center. And I came up with a presentation on restless leg syndrome. Restless leg syndrome is a common neurological disorder that causes periodic limb movements and this usually occurs during the nighttime in patients. It affects about 10% of the American population, mostly women. Possible etiologies uh, for this condition include iron deficiency, uh, a decrease in dopamine levels in the brain, usually at rest in the evening when patients go to bed. Other conditions um, that can cause this include chronic kidney disease, diabetes, pregnancy, and there is a correlation with family history seen in patients with this disease. Common signs and symptoms include tingling, crawling, numbness, and pain um, of the legs that start from the knee down to the ankles. And these patients have insomnia as well because they're moving throughout the night and they can't get rest. Some complications of restless leg include anxiety and depression. These patients mainly are affected from insomnia and that's why they end up with this condition. The diagnostic criteria is subjective. It's based on what the patient tells the practitioner, uh, what their symptoms are. Um, the diagnostic criteria that must be met for this diagnosis is an urge to move the legs um, due to discomfort, symptoms that worsen during periods of inactivity, symptoms that are relieved by movement of the legs, and symptoms that worsen in the evening or at night, usually between the hours of 10 p.m. and 4 in the morning. There is no real workup for this condition, but the study that's done right now is polysomnography study. It's a sleep study that checks for periodic limb movement and that can help the diagnosis along with what the patient um, describes as their symptoms. Current treatment is dopamine agonists. An example is levodopa. This drug is used in patients with Parkinson's disease who have a deficiency in dopamine. Benzodiazepines help as well. That drug is for anxiety. Um, ferrous sulfate for patients who have iron deficiency. Um, massage can also help these patients in cold baths. The prognosis is good for patients as long as the symptoms are treated by the clinician. There are periods of remission uh, for these patients, but since this is a chronic disease, that can get progressively worse, and its etiology continues to remain a mystery as of now.